Did Mac Ranger just let it slip that we're getting the Sony a7 IV announcement tomorrow at Sony's virtual press conference? I've also got leaked images of the new Fuji GFX 100S. This and more after the intro. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials. And to make things just a little bit more interesting, I'm giving away a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. Details are in the description down below or you can watch this video right here. Please look at the terms and conditions as there are some age and location restrictions. And now for the news. OM Digital will talk about the future of OMD. OM Digital is doing a great job of communicating with the market, letting us know their focus and what they're working on. They're not wasting any time. Now I do expect to hear about what capabilities they'll include in new models, but will we get a roadmap? Maybe that's too much to ask. We'll have to wait until February the 25th to find out at CP+. Like Fuji, interested in the GFX 100S? Well, I've got leaked photos of Fuji's new medium format camera, courtesy of FujiRumors.com. It certainly looks like a sharp camera. I've always liked the look of Fuji cameras, with the silver X-T4 being my favorite. The GFX 100S will be announced Wednesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. That's January the 27th. Visit Fuji Rumors if you'd like to see some more leaked images of accessories and other parts of the camera. But the big news today could be a slip by Matt Granger. Matt Granger just published a story about why he didn't choose Sony. Spoilers, he's back to Nikon on the Z mount. Now at the three minute mark or so, he praises various Sony cameras, including the A7 series. Then he says this. The A7 series, now up to the A7 IV. The A7 series, now up to the A7 IV. Is that a slip of the tongue? Did he let it slip that we're getting the A7 IV tomorrow? Next, he talked about the A9, but he didn't mention the A9 III. He talked about the A9 II. The only mistake he made in the entire video was referring to the A7 IV an unannounced camera less than a day before we get a major Sony Alpha announcement. Did Matt let it slip that we're getting the Sony a7 IV tomorrow? It's been three years since the a7 III. It's definitely possible. But then again, we waited five years for the a7S III. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. But now, for a quick behind the scenes. In this episode of Behind the Scenes, I want to talk about mistakes because I certainly make my share of them. I do try to enunciate my words as clearly as I can, but sometimes I just get lazy and things slip. I can't reshoot every time I make mistakes. Now, Matt Granger, he, I don't know if he made a mistake or not. It's certainly possible that he could have made a mistake. The video was published just about two hours ago and he hasn't pulled the video. He hasn't made any changes to it. And he referred to it as the A7 IV, and I looked at the comments, nobody else made a comment on this. So either Matt knows something, and he just let it slip, and then didn't give it any other notice. And that was the interesting thing. He didn't go into any details about it, he just kind of nonchalantly said, oh, the A7 IV, as though it was released many, many months ago. And so this has me wondering, did he just make a mistake? Did he, did he accidentally say A7 IV instead of the A7 III? Because well, the A7 IV has been on the minds of a lot of us, and I'm kind of leading with that, but maybe not. And that's the difficulty with some of these stories, and I, I have to admit, I, I don't know either. Now, we've heard many things about what we're getting tomorrow from Sony. It's definitely going to be a big enough of a deal because they're making a big deal about it. It's a virtual press conference. They're saying it's an alpha camera, and it's something never seen before. And I don't know if that refers to an actual model, whether it refers to technology introduced. We're just going to have to wait and see. But if Matt didn't make a mistake and let it slip, then you know what? The A7 IV is looking like a very real possibility. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, and some other mistakes I made uh, this morning. I got up, I shot really early, and my hair looked hilarious. I realized in post, but you know what? I had about 20 minutes before I had to start work. I didn't have time to reshoot. I quickly got things edited and uploaded and scheduled them for a nine o'clock release. And sure enough, when I got ready to publish this video or shoot this video earlier, I went upstairs and made sure my hair was okay. And I don't know what it is about the air today. Maybe there's a lot of static in the air. We've got a humidifier, it's cold outside, but my hair went poof again. I fixed it, came downstairs, and I thought, I'm gonna check it one last time, went upstairs, and sure enough, I was doing a alfalfa again. My hair was sticking up, so I quickly wetted it down. I don't know if it's sticking back up again. It's just a bad day. 
But this goes to show you, this is the whole point of this behind the scenes is we make mistakes. We make mistakes with set. Do I have all the lights on? Sometimes I don't. And today I do. I have all my lights on. The microphone is everything set properly. Did I make a mistake in the camera settings? One of the reasons why I use custom modes. And do I enunciate my words clearly enough? I'm trying to make sure I say everything correctly. It's one of the reasons why I use a teleprompter for stuff like this. So I don't accidentally say the wrong thing. But still, what I read and what comes out my mouth isn't always accurate. So perhaps we are getting the A7 IV tomorrow, or maybe Matt just made a slip. We'll just have to wait and find out. I'm going to monitor his site, see if he pulls the video, or see if he makes a change or makes a comment. But uh, yeah, interesting enough, isn't it? But that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win not one, but two Angelbird 128GB AV Pro MK2 V90 SD cards, along with an Angelbird dual SD card reader. Or you could also win the Ulanzi LED light package with accent lights, underwater lights, and other lights to help illuminate your subjects or for your YouTube channel. I'll be awarding these two prize bundles once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. And then of course, I'll be offering up a different and more expensive prize every 10,000 K until we reach 100,000. At which point, I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.